Hi everybody, my name is Thor, and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make Ant Glyph 3D. Um, first of all, before we get too started into this, I'd like to uh, clear up some of the common misconceptions about um, how Ant Glyph 3D actually works. Uh, if you want to try this, go and pick up a pen or a pencil or whatever you is like a something like a pen or a pencil essentially that happens to be um, lying around and uh, go ahead and hold it about a foot from your face and uh, stare at the very tip of it for a moment and uh, look what happens to the background everything behind it kind of disappears and makes the object in front uh, look well 3D now the way Anaglyph 3D works is it makes it look more 3D using 2D by getting rid of distortion in the background and now you have two images um, replicating that one. Now the problem with all of the ones online is they're doing it wrong. They think that just by moving the camera over just a little bit, they are able to duplicate um, an angle of 3D, which it doesn't work like that. Both cameras have to be aimed at a single focus point. If they're not, this will not work at all. Usually the focus point would be at an object, so you'd just say track to object, which you'll learn all about later. But first, if you want, go ahead and pick one of the options on the right here. You have Trioscopic 3D on the left, which is, um, which you can pick uh, Trioscopic 3D glasses up at just by any uh, blockbuster. And on the right, we have normal landing glyph, which are a little bit hard to find now. You may have to look online, or if you have somewhere where you know still sells them or has them, you might want to pick some up. Um, so go ahead and select either one, and uh, when you click it, you'll be sent to the video of your choice.